Brian is preparing for battle. There goes. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, I really have to laugh already. It has been years and years on end, but Ryan from Happy Healthy Vegan is back again with a full day of eating, workout, meals and even a haircut. Ryan with his vegan AF shirt. I cannot wait to see this. Let's have a look. Hey, this is Ryan hey. Happy Healthy Vegan. Joining me today for a day in the life. What yeah. does Ryan do in a day? So I'm gonna start my day off with a workout, which I pretty much start every day off, unless I'm going to play basketball. That's probably considered a workout too. Depends. And later on, big plans. Get this mop of a hair cut and styled. And right by there, I found this place I've never been to that has vegan banh mi sandwiches. So anyway, let me start off. I'll show you the home gym a little bit. Let's go in there real quick. Today I'm gonna do um, it's chest day, so I'm gonna do bench presses Damn, dude. and do some battle ropes too. So um, battle yeah, ropes. We'll see Ryan is preparing for battle. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, That's day. how you I do it, bro. All day. Okay, so all day. That's all day. <laughs> I can. Like yeah, I usually do five minutes a day. Yeah. I think I've done up to like eight minutes or so. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I think his wife is mocking him. <laughs> all right, well, we're not gonna film it all day, no, but you guys can know. It's too exciting. What I do pretty much every day, I do good little session here on the battle ropes in addition to resistance training. Even when I played basketball, I did battle ropes yesterday before I went to the gym. Wow. <laughs> wow. If you guys watch my day in the life vlogs, you've seen this a bunch of times. This is what I have pretty much every day after work. I've got my bananas here. I'm not sure how many I'm going to put in. Probably about maybe six or seven. I already wow. put in my um, the duckweed, the clean machine green protein. Actually, I have an affiliate link. I'll put that down in the show notes for you. It's got tons of amino acids. But Ryan never opens his mouth when he speaks, man. Available B12, a bunch of vitamins and minerals. And some ground flaxseed already in there too. That explains Get some a lot. more omega-3 fatty acids. All right, you have a vegan protein powder in there. Then you have a bunch of bananas, five, six, seven, eight. Nobody on the planet needs that much sugar. Not even you, Ryan, after doing those battle ropes. I know it was tough. Now you add some phytoestrogenic flax seeds into the mix to finish your meal. Fantastic. <laughs> So yeah, let's make this thing. Forgot to mention, I always like to put some berries in. This week I have Rabbit. blueberries. Wow, man. It's just sugar and mediocre plant protein. That's pretty much it, as always. You might not like it, but this is how peak male performance looks like. Yeah, it never gets old. Anyway, I got my iPad, gonna see what's happened in the world today, and um, yeah. Vegans always like to keep obligate carnivores. Why? <laughs> the beauty of it. Cool and stylish. It's so definitely not. To wait. Yeah. What's gonna happen? <laughs> well, they still have to wear masks. I have to show them my photo oh, yeah. reference, so we'll see how close it comes. It's not a far off shot. It's like, it's like kind of how my hair used to look like in the 90s, kind of. So we're just gonna try to get it again like 30 years later. So what do you think, guys? I personally think ah, stoked. Yes. This is like by far the best. Best female haircut 2022 goes to Ryan. No, let's see the side. Yeah, show how they all work the back. Got that this guy, man, this guy. Perfection. So not sponsored. I just want to give a big shout out though to RT7 Salon here in Garden Grove. You guys are like just 20 minutes away from my home. And let me know down in the comments if you want to, should I Looks keep perfect, my bro. natural hair color or should I get something a little more fun? <laughs> All right, here we are, guys. Yeah, dang. It says vegetarian, but trust us, it says vegan, according to Happy Cow. And I heard they have very delicious vegan banh mi sandwiches. Let's go check it out. Yep, meat replacements all over the place. That's what you get in those Asian restaurants, vegan ones. Meat replacement, because Asians love meat. Duh. Check out, guys, vegan fish sauce. Wow. Yeah. You can drink it. It's all meat. Yeah, they have like nine kinds of vegan banh mi sandwiches here. This is incredible. Wow. 
there's a hungry ghost, and Buddhism, you definitely don't want to be a hungry ghost. It's like one of the worst things to be. Let's read this. Hungry ghost. Hungry ghost is a concept in Chinese Buddhism representing beings who are driven by intense emotional needs in an animalistic way, aka vegans. All right, we got it, and we're just going to take it home. They're going to close pretty soon anyway, and we just get enjoy it in our house. So let's go. Uh, afternoon traffic. <laughs> so fun. At least it's not a long way. It's like... And let's show them too. We got, I got the vegan meatloaf and Angie got the vegan beef. <laughs> also, I couldn't help myself. Angie noticed in the counter that they had uh, two meats. Why? Had to to after Asian so food. many years, after so much years of vegan detox, now you shouldn't have any meat cravings whatsoever, should you? Why do you still want something that replicates animal suffering? These are known as bows. And um, I'm a bow stand, a you know, vegan bow stand, so let's check that out. And we already nibbled a little bit on the vegan jerky that we got there, too. Oh, fuck kind of doing it. Here we, here we go. It's all meat replacements. Again. Whoa! That's Whoa! Like how long is it? Like 15 inches or something? This is crazy. This is easily double the size of the bonries at uh, it's California. It's so hysterical, man. When you're in Vietnam, you pay a couple of cents for this. Those vegans in California pay for the same thing without meat, $8. Disney is like maybe that big. <laughs> I mean, it is a kid's one that I get to, but still, this is crazy. This yeah, is the one's not that wow. big either. So much this bread. Is crazy. value, guys. Wow. $8. Look wow. at this, guys. Wow. Wow. <laughs> It smells good. Yeah, it's cut it down, huh? So we can split it and share it. Mmm, the cilantro smells so good. Okay. All right, let's check out the bow first. Mm-hmm. Okay, some of those ones that has like a green stuff inside, not the red stuff. Green stuff? <laughs> like mm -hmm. a sauce? Like a green interior. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Seems super delicious. <laughs> how's, the, how's the flavor? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I'll definitely get one again. Yeah, sure. I think this is the meatloaf Convincing. one. I'm kind of confused now after all the moving Where's around. The meat? Let's check it out. First bite. Yeah, I don't know what uh, I was expecting, but this is cool. Oh, this is right. Very, um, this is cool. I was just like a... Like a veggie sandwich or something like that, then like, you know. Oh, wow, really? You're eating bread with vegetables. How else would it taste? Then what you might think, I don't really taste all this flavored meat or anything like that. Fake <laughs> meat. Why do you want to taste the flavored meat? It's like a nice just veggie sa um, sandwich with a slight Asian vibe. Oh. Yeah, please don't mm. give me the ASMR, nice Ryan. Oh, Not you either, Angie. So now I have the beef one, the so-called uh, beef one. You can tell beef. with the purple <laughs> insides. All right, let's check this out. All right. <laughs> Tastes a little bit like mine, the one, you know, the meatloaf one, but... So, They're all the same. If you look at those meat replacements, I have. I lived in Vietnam, I lived in Thailand. It is always the same ingredients, slightly different flavoring system. They all taste the same. Different, more of like a, a sauce oh. or spice or something like that. It's not oh. hot. There's <laughs> a little extra, extra Asian flavor. <laughs> what we're talking about, these are like... It's, it's a Vietnamese thing, these banh mi sandwiches, but they're inspired by... Uh, Vietnam has been colonized by the French. This is why they eat baguettes, but nevertheless, they fill them with a bunch of Asian meats. This is peasant food in itself. The only thing that's nutritionally dense is the animal foods. You, Ryan, removed even those. The French. Yeah. yeah. It's hence this baguette. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey guys, it's finally night now, oh. and I'm sitting here in our music slash video studio, and it reminded me, it's a, this would be a great time to let you guys know, <laughs> if you're not already following our band, Love Spirals. I don't want to hear it. So, um, anyway guys, I gotta get going. I, I'm, you know, pretty dirty still. I, it's been a big day. I worked out earlier, so I'm gonna get a little bath in, then have something to eat for dinner, and I'm not sure what we're gonna have, but um, I'll take a little f a photo of it, and so you can see it right now, so you can see everything that I life, ate man. in a day. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Okay. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. I always love revisiting Ryan and Angie. If you enjoyed this video just as much as myself, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. All right, guys. But this is it. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.